Good morning. So when you watch this clip, you're going to see me starting at a completely different river. And the reason being is yesterday we went on our first uh, first session for 2021 after the brown trout. Um, three and a half hours in the first river and I had one bite. So I uh, stopped at uh, my local place and um, had quite a good productive evening session. So you're going to see that video now. Um, today is going to be another video, so you will see that another time. So yeah, stay tuned and uh, hopefully enjoy the video. Okay guys, welcome to another video. It's been four long months, but the trout season has finally started. Um, really, really chomping at the bit to get going. River looks in perfect nick. Let's go, let's see what we can do. What a day. Spring has definitely arrived. Sun shining. If anything, it's probably too bright. <laughs> but um, I can't get over how good the river looks. It's been, as I said, a long four months. I've been really looking forward to to getting back at them. Okay, so third spot, second river. So the first river was a complete, complete ride off. Three and a half hours, I had one bite. We have about an hour of daylight left. I'm actually off work for the next three days. So the plan is to not do that. Yeah, plan is to try and catch as many trout in the next three days as possible. But at the moment I'll settle for the first one of the year. Fish looking at that. There was a fish that came in and looked at that a few times. And again, fish on. Fish on! Off we go. There we have it. The first trout of 2021. 20, it only took four hours. Thank you very much. See, the reason I didn't have a net with me, and I had a net earlier today, was... Um, well, realistically, there's about an hour left of daylight, and I've just came to the new stretch of river, and I was in that much of a hurry. I left it in the car. So, uh, and I just missed another fish there. So the fish in this pool. Yeah, so nine times out of ten, I'll always have my net with me. Just on the off chance we do hit a big one. And obviously with the whole competition side of things you are you meant to use a net at all times anyway. So it's obviously pays to practice with it. But in this case, this evening, 
We're just trying to catch as many as possible now with no net. It feels good to get off the mark. Okay, it's a bit of a new feature from last year. Tree has fell over the over the winter. Quite a few storms over the winter, so makes sense. Fish on! Well, I'm counting that one because. If I had a net, that would have been netted, and it would have counted. I'm fine with that, in all honesty. Short in time, I'm here to try and hook fish, get a bit of practice in, blow the cobwebs of the winter off. Unless it's a big massive trout and I just missed another fish. Unless it's a big massive trout and I lose it because I forgot my net then I'll be cross. But with the small ones like that I want to get them back quick anyway so I'm not too worried. That was two hits and two casts in this swim. Feels so good getting bites. It shows you the difference of fishing in a river where the fish are obviously active and fishing in a river where they're not. In three and a half hours in a river with with what one two bites I think I had earlier. I've been here for 25 minutes and technically had two fish and a couple of bites. I'm confident that I'll catch another few as well. There seems to be a few fish tapping on the surface seems to be a few fish moving it's just right about 10 feet but would you believe that I've done that exactly the same cast twice in a row yes yeah, so we're about 10 feet up from where the last uh, the last two fish were caught so they definitely seem to be active in this area if I could get a good enough cast without catching trees, potentially to be able to get one. I just missed a trout at my feet. I actually seen him coming and hitting that right below me. He done it again. He done it again. He's right there. He keeps grabbing the, the end of the lure away from the hook. If he grabs it this time, I'm just I'm not going to strike. I'm just going to let him take it, as if it was a bit of bait. And of course, I catch the branch in front of me. Drop myself down a bit. There, I knew I would get him. <laughs> I watched him coming. Oh, yes. I actually watched him coming three times and hitting that. He actually took the tail of the last one and then came back for the single on its own. He 
Lovely fish. A very, very lightly hooked, barbless hook, straight out. There you go. Quick release. I want to put one down that row because I haven't actually fished that way yet. Yeah, move on up. The dog doesn't like me. Oh, that's a wee touch there. And I got him, got him up time. Oh, it's a... Tree's right. No, just caught him in the current. Much a similar sort of size. So maybe, the, oh, well, again, no net. Would have had that if I had a net. I think you get the drift now. If I had a net, we had had him in. It's all about hooking them today. It's not about landing them. Switch to a bigger hook. I'm getting quite a few bites. With a smaller hook, even with a single honeyworm, but still missing them. So, going to a slightly bigger hook, actually, slightly lighter hook as well, just to give me a bit more of a slower, a slower sink, a bit more time in the strike zone. There is a bit of a flow, so the flow will do a lot of the work for me, but at least then I can. Work the, the lure a lot better without the fear of it sinking too fast and getting snagged. Give it a couple of casts anyway and see. I can take the, take the second honeyworm off and go back to the single if it's not working. It's all trial and error, it's all about learning. Trying different things all the time. Just because it's catching fish now it doesn't mean it always will. You can't rely on the one thing all the time. Okay, switch it back onto the single. I'm not getting anywhere near as many hits. That hook might be too big for a for a single, which is the only issue, but we'll see. First cast with a single. <laughs> it was literally now he came off. There you go. But you've seen that fish anyway. Um, you've seen me casting the double honeyworm in there five, six times. Took it off. First cast with a single. Bang. But then sometimes you come down here and you use two. And two catches more than what the single does. It's, it's fishing. You now every day is different. It's just knowing when to change things up yeah those people definitely heard me talking to myself there I think tomorrow we'll come down here quite early. Try and get the morning feed, avoid the dog walkers. Fish jumping behind me. I wonder can we hook it? I'll fix our bait. Bait's fixed. So it just jumped onto this tree line. Cast under it. No, no interest in it.
Ah, I just lost them. Got them up time. Got them up time. Oh, they're strong on the flow. A lovely dark color, this one. Okay, I'll just take myself to the edge of the water. Wow, look at you, don't come off. They're probably the nicest one we've got today. Look at the spots on that. Lovely gold belly. Probably the nicest one we've had all day. And probably the perfect one to finish. Oh, he's got a job. <laughs> okay, well, I think you've got to see him anyway. Okay. That'll do us for the day. Glad we came here, rushed in here for the last sort of hour and a half. It made all the difference. Because if I hadn't have, I'd have went home and I'd have been feeling quite sorry for myself after going to that other river, fishing two spots and basically not catching anything. So thankfully we came here, saved the day. Right, we'll see you tomorrow.